Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do lead good <coughs> weekly challenge second question. Increment sub matrices by one. So you are given a positive integer n, indicating that we initially have an n cross n zero index integer matrix mat filled with zeros. You are also given a 2D integer L query for each query of i. For each query of i, row 1 i, column 1 i, row 2 i, column 2 i, you should do the following operation. So add 1 to every element in the sub matrix with top left corner, row 1 i, column 1 i, and bottom right corner, row 2 i, column 2 i. That is add 1 to mat x, y for all row 1, i, row 2 and then column 1, i, column 2 means y and x. Return the matrix mat after performing every query. So here the thing is that uh, we are given with the input as means this query queries uh first n is given to us and according to that n we are required to return n cross n cross n matrix that is first thing and the second thing queries are given to us and according to that query only we are required to transform our n cross n matrix means earlier all the zeros would be there as you can see here but then according to that query only including that query row uh, index we are required to make those two one. Here in the first example, as you can see, one one. So basically, this is that particular block where row and column are one one, and then row and column as two two is this block, right? So including these also, and up till this particular block which would be made between them, we are required to make all of them as one. So now according to next query. Then 0, 0 and 1, 1. This is 0, 0, right? And this is that 1, 1 only, right? So including that and the block which would be made by this particular uh, query, we are required to make all of them as 1. And if earlier it was 1, then it will become 2. Mean basically, we are just required to add 1 to that particular block. As per the query, we give it to us. Now here, as you can see, here n is up to 500. Means it could be, uh, means 500 rows and 500 columns would be there. Then the query is up to 10 days to part 4. So basically we are required to have some solution which could accommodate these constraints as they would be TLE. Actually at the starting I was trying to do with brute force solution. Let me show you that how I was doing. So I was doing like this, just taking each query and then directly transforming as per the question says. But when doing this, it was giving me TLE at the 500 uh, value in and the queries would be surely up to 10 days to power 4 as per the maximum limit. So it was giving TLE. So in that context, we are required to modify this particular solution. So rather than just doing in that brute force manner, we are required to do this particular in that manner. The way the thing is like if we would have been given with an array from 0 to 6, right? So in that context, if we are required to add 1 to each of them, means rather than directly adding 1 to the same, what we can do is we can directly increment the first uh, column which is there basically if it is an array then the first index which is there with one and decrement the sixth index which would be there with one while doing so and then when we will be uh, doing the prefix sum for the same then surely we will be easily able to add one to all of them without uh, we will be easily able to add one to all of them and this thing only we are required to use in as this particular matrix because the matrix is also somehow just like an array only so according to that only we will be doing in this particular and because of that 
we will be reducing our time complexity because here we can easily see that here the time complexity was up to the number of queries which were there into n cross n right and because of that it would surely give us tle now as per this approach let us go ahead with the solution so here here how we are doing that so we are taking each query now next uh, we are doing the same thing which i was uh, saying basically here take example only so if we have matrix like this n cross n matrix which is now here three cross three matrix okay so row one column one say our row one is this column one is also this and uh, row one column two and see that our uh, let us take our first example only means let me explain you from that one one two two okay here it is zero one two zero one two then one one two two and up to that so this is the block which we are required to take as per our first query now what we are doing here is row one column one so that row one column one and this particular matrix we are taking plus one so there would be like this so here uh what we are taking is row one column one so our row one column one is this one and we are incrementing by one and then row one column two our row one is this only and column two plus one so basically we are taking this and decrementing by uh, one and then our next thing is for our row two plus one means our row two is this right and then but we are taking row two plus one means we are taking this block and column one that would be this only and decrementing it to by minus one and then we are taking row two plus one and column two plus one so basically we are taking this and we are incrementing by one so this is what we would be storing at this point then comes the next part means then individually we will be doing so means we will be going till n and here whatever ij would be there starting from 0 and into 1 then according to that we are here. at this point what we are doing we are doing operation on our column so here what we will be going to do is we will start from this point and 1 right and at this point uh zero this first row and this column one so at this point what would be done that whatever is being stored at this point that would be added up to this like this only whatever is stored to this it will be added to this whatever is stored here it will be added to this so this will be for all the columns here and now comes the part for the rows so for rows also it would be something like this only is at this point whatever would be there here it will be added up to there then add to here add to here like this only all the rows would be done and while doing so we will be easily able to add the things which are being required for us and then we will be able to get a final answer now why we are doing this thing because here you can see for the purpose of doing that array thing we have taken n plus 1 n plus 1 right but we require n rather than n plus 1 so because of that thing only at the end we are just storing whatever was being stored at that particular moment and going up till n only so that there are only n rows and columns used that is n plus 1 which was earlier there so that's what we are doing here and at the end we are returning our result 
So now because of these operations only, we are reducing our time complexity. The thing is that earlier what our time complexity was. So earlier our time, our time complexity, we have tightly seen that it was into Q into N into N, right? That is what our time complexity was earlier. And now our time complexity has been reduced. Here you can clearly see these are just queries which we are taking, right? So here the time complexity is directly order of Q dot size, which I'm just taking as Q. And here the time complexity is order of N into N. And same goes for the other one also. It's here and here also. But now our overall time complexity is like here it was just multiplication, right? But the overall time complexity here become order of Q plus N into N. So that's how we have reduced our time complexity from this to this. And that's why now at the as per constraint, it would give us TLE also. And the part for the space complexity. So the space complexity here is here. You can see that the return type is basically this only, right? So as per that only we are taking these two. But yeah, we are using one extra space as well. So in that context, our space complexity is order of n. So this was all for this particular question. If you have any doubt, you can comment that down. And one more information, as you're already solving this link code bi-weekly and weekly challenges, you can go ahead with Newton School Coding Contest as well, which is about which the uh, link is there in the description and every detail would be there in the description only. So yeah, this was all for this particular question. Thank you. <laughs>